no, 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 no. Going down the valley. A rough one there. We're going to be going over the NTSB final report for this October 6, 2020 from Spirit Lake, Idaho. Here's how the aircraft ended up. Pretty bad shape. Uh, the pilot was flown out. Um, this is what happened for the analysis. They departed from that grassy runway. The passenger stated that the airplane remained in ground effect for a large duration of the takeoff and then climbed above the tree line at an altitude of about 75 feet before the left wing stalled and collided with terrain. Pardon my voice, I'm kind of sick, but here's how quickly things can go wrong. Within a minute, 3.33 and 23 seconds, they were already stalled and going to the left. Here's that look of the Treeport Airport that they're at in Air, uh, Idaho. So it took off, and then this is the accident site. Tried to clear those trees here. And it was this aircraft, a RANS S7, November 55893 amphibious aircraft here's the scene firefighters are on scene no fire there was some fuel that was spilling um here air ambulance came in and took that pilot away um in real bad shape he was unconscious at the time and then the passenger had a bruised lung and i think broken ribs and a few broken toes but here's uh warren longden the property owner said brendan was in the back seat and Warren helped Brendan out of the airplane. Brendan had back pain, ankle damage, but informed Warren that this was a classic stall. The pilot had not gained consci regained consciousness and was life flighted out. The pilot just bought the airplane from back east, and the pilot wanted the airplane rewired because it looked like a bird's nest based out of Timber Basin Airport. Here's a Rotax 912 uh, engine. Pilot took off from runway 7. The treetops were about 60 feet tall. Turned left at about 175 feet from reaching the end of the runway. Mr. Longden stated that if he had taken off from runway 25, he would have had 2,500 extra feet before the trees because he had just cleared it. So just some factors. Here's another picture of it. Thank you, FAA, for this picture. The passenger estimated that the airplane contained about 11.25 gallons of fuel and it was under gross weight and well within center of gravity envelope, but it did look heavy as it was flying. Um, here's Brendan Duddy, the passenger. He's also a pilot. He stated that uh, he was not uh, in control of the aircraft during takeoff. Michael Mills was the pilot, purchased it. Um, he wanted Brendan to fly with him to keep an eye out. They did one water landing and they flew the private airstrip touchdown brendan had flown it many times before takeoff the run-up was okay um, you can read the rest here but yeah brendan had two broken toes bruised liver and cracked ribs yeah it was a liver um, so pretty serious as well um, but glad he made it out okay here's uh, the pilot's information 52 year old pilot 10,000 hours of flight time but it was a new aircraft. And probable cause for this one was the pilot's exceedance of airplane's critical angle of attack during the initial climb after takeoff, which resulted in an aerodynamic stall. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Here's some more NTSB final reports. This is our Fred Keone. See you guys next time.